Okay, today we're at headquarters. I'm gonna show you a video of what it looks like at our headquarters, inside out to our bays. All right, let's go inside our main door here. what it looks like inside our headquarters entryway. Just a little bit more. As you come in, we have our wall of our previous apparatuses and current. So all right, what our old station looked like. like today we have our offices here our board president our secretary over here we got conference room over here on this wall is some more pictures of apparatuses and fire scenes that we've dealt with Again, some more old apparatuses that we used to have. Along with our bylaws. And there's our day room. And over here's the chief's office. Go into our day room. Over here to the left is our sitting TV area. So where we gather when we do cookouts and events and whatnot, we hang out here. Cadets play usually PlayStation on the TV. Down this way is our bathrooms, showers and bathrooms. And this way over here, we getting ready to redo this wall and redo some painting. So we took down our, our uh, plaques of people who have done well through the department, got their awards. Just our little <laughs> collection kit bookshelf. And back through here is our kitchen. Standard kitchen. A lot of guys meet out here Friday night, to do their cooking. Social gathering. Back through here, and there's our laundry room. Our hangout area and out back, as well as another storage room. And here is where we actually clean our gear. We have uh, extractor, washer, and dryer. We got a grant from Firehouse Subs on and was able to to get our gear machine. There's our washer. And here's our dryer. Get our gear washed up after every fire. Get it in here to dry. Thanks to Firehouse Subs back in 20, 2018, we were able to get this before we didn't have anything to actually clean our gear with. We'd have to rely on other departments to try to clean our gear. It's nice to have your own gear machine. That's our storage building back here. See, through the back back here is basically where smokers hang out. When we get together before we do our training and stuff. 
socialize. Back into the day room. Right there's our e-dispatch board. We have, we use e-dispatches on our phones, so. Our, basically our dispatch desk right here in computer. Back here is our officer's office. This is where we do our reports. All the officers come in and do the reporting, training, set, set up. And turn these lights off. Now in through here, this is our training room. This is where we hold our training as far as classroom settings. We have to come in, do either paper training or video training, classroom setting training. This over here is our assignment board for people who actually come in during training and whatnot, we assign them an apparatus to be on in case we get a call during training, they know which truck to get to. Back here is just our maintenance room, regular washer and dryer, our cascade system for refilling our air cylinders. And hit these lights while I'm in here. head out toward the bay. Keys out again. Had that little Maltese put down when we had the floors redone a few years ago. It used to be just basically slippery concrete out here. We got the coating to put down on it which works pretty well. All right. It's a good thing I'm coming in here. I hear an alarm going off. Huh. All right, in their bay. this truck's not plugged in when it should be. Let's see if we can get around here and find out. All right, we have a six bays here at headquarters. This engine 81. Engine 81 is a 2017 Pierce. Thousand gallons capacity. is on the driver's seat. Ah. Driver, as well as officer. And a four-man crew on the back. Two facing the rear, two facing the front. Storage cabinets. Tick is on. That's probably why that thing is going off. It should not be on. Turn that off. Laptop, radio. That's what she looks like going out. Siren. We got this engine out of uh, out of a demo out in Florida. 
from the Daytona Raceway. Pierce was out there. This is one of the unit, one of the engines they used during races. So we got a good deal on it. Which is nice. Nice running truck. Get on scene if we need first responder stuff to have it. And the other side is their water extinguisher. Their pump panel. Looks like on the side. Sorry for the jitters. I'm trying to use this selfie stick thing. That's what she looks like from the rear. And your passenger side we actually put a intake and discharge on this side Over here, their Rescue 8. She is a 2007 La France. We got her out of New York as well. Did a little bit of work on her. She's our heavy rescue. She's got equipment for any type of rescue you can think of. Pretty much have it on this baby here. She drives like a, like a dream. More like a <laughs> big uh, motor home, basically. That's what she looks like on the inside. Backup camera, storage, radio, siren. And she's got a five passenger in the back. Two up front, three on the wall, two facing them. And we use it for rehab as well as rescue. Multifunction vehicle. She has awnings up there that come out so we can have covered area. In the back, we got our lights. And storage at the top. Like I said, five man crew in the back. Storage and additional charging stations at the top. And she has plenty of hose and reels. Those are for the airbags and lighting. There are saws and generator along with oil dry that dumps from the top into the bucket. Basically, we got a container up there. We fill it full of oil dry. Fill a bucket down here. Here's your telescoping light control. Got a light tower on top as well. Top 
there we have our tables and chairs. And here we got some cribbing and additional cribbing down below. And here we got a refrigerator cooler. That way we can keep our uh, water cold when needed. It's right there. Storage for additional air cylinders. We don't have them in there right now because we've got some padding in there so they don't get scratched up. Command board on top right here. Now back here we have our uh, hydraulics. This has the uh, electric hydraulic pump. We're gonna put hose on each side on your spreaders, your rams, and your cutters. And they're all in here. All with some window saw tool saws all. You got your back lighting. Back here, you got your backboards, your ladder, as well as a Stokes basket. Over here, you got your heavy stabilization. Right there, down on the bottom, we got the winch. The winch can go on four points. You got one in the rear, one on each side, and one in the front. And these toe straps. Pipe hose. Here on top. Get up here without falling off. All right. All right. <laughs> up here is additional storage. In here, I don't think we got too much anything. Maybe some chairs or something in here. Okay, we got our some fans in here, as well as our torch. And here's where we put our oil dry. You got storage on this side. Inside here is where we have our oil dry. Gravity fed down the tube. We got a slider. And she's opening it up and it just comes down the tube into the bucket. tower and our air cylinder for uh, using our air tools some more storage over here our shovel rake additional storage compartment Coffin, we got some Gatorade, a couple more pipe poles, heavier duty. Here. Sorry for all the jitter jabber on the on the camera, but the way it is. Over here once again, some more hydraulics. Pumps. You got your fan. You got our cutting tools, our axes, our halligans. Small pikes, hammers, sledgehammers, etc. over here. Yeah. 
here are our battery operated tools on each side there. Over here is our airbags that we use. Well, our airbag regulators and stuff are in here. Additional tools at the bottom. Extinguishers. Here's our mechanic toolbox. Some more battery operated saws. More flashlights, electrical, and tools. Over here also has the canopy to come out for shading. And like I said, additional seating of the back. So that's our rescue eight. Over here is our ladder eight. It has been rehab. It's a quint. I think it only holds 350 gallons of water. So you have to hook into into the piping to get it to flow water through here. Straight pipe in right here. Controls the ladder. It's 65 footer. It's not very, very long. Move sides of it. Here's our pump panel here. And she holds two up front and two in the back. So all together you got four personnel in this truck. So. Over in here. All right, that's what she looks like on the inside. She's an old truck. She's been rehabbed. She's a good running one. So, she still gets the job done for what we need. We're looking at trying to get a new actual basket ladder, 100 foot, but we'll see. We've been putting in grants for that, and so far we haven't been successful. <laughs> now, this thing here, <laughs> this is going to be our newest addition. Don't look like much yet. We stripped her down. She's getting paint, paint job done to the plastics. And this here, she's gonna be our uh, <laughs> UTV slash brush truck. <laughs> Very small brush fire containment. Here's our brush truck, brush truck eight. Chevrolet. Basically the whole front end underneath this has been redone. A winch. Good running truck as well. Now, y'all that uh, saw the video where the hose is all tangled up in a mess when I was rewinding it when we was out on a call, that ain't what we normally do. We get back here, we kind of straighten it out. That's Actually, that looks kind of messy there, but normally it's straighter than that. That's our brush truck eight. Ladder 87. All right, she's gonna be one of the oldest trucks we have in our fleet. She is a center mount 
pump truck. So you get up here, get to the pump panel. Back around. That's our discharges and our intake. This truck here has apparently fought a lot of fires. She's old, but she can still keep up with the best of them as far as pumping. And once again, her capacity. Two in the back, two in the front. So a total of a four man crew. We use her a lot in parades and stuff too. What she looks like on the inside. And up in there. It's engine one. Say so once again, she's she's old, but she can still work and still do it like the rest of them. Last but not least, in headquarters is truck 84. This is our medical truck, more more than anything, more of a utility medical run truck. F250. I believe this is a 2017 as well. There's our center console. Yeah, front and back. That's what she kind of looks like. Back here is our medical bag, AED, etc. Backboards, a little bit of tools and cooler, oxygen, a whiteboard, chairs, cloth, and some hand tools if needed. what our truck 84 looks like. That's, our, that's what we have at headquarters in our bay. Well, that'll wrap it up for our headquarter visit. Sorry that the video is going to be jumpy and choppy and whatnot, but like I said, I'm doing it from a cell phone and an old cheap selfie stick at this point. <laughs> However, I appreciate y'all tuning in and watching. I appreciate y'all supporting the channel. You know, I'll do a do a lot for me just by watching and liking. And I really hope that some people do get the the thrill and excitement of wanting to be a first responder fireman, EMT, EMS, whatever you want to be. Um, I'm going to tell you, it's a lot of hard work. Now, we are. 100% volunteer and people have other things that they do during the day, their jobs, regular jobs, home life, etc. And sometimes it's hard to get out there on every call. You're not going to make every call, but just know that when you do get on a call, people are relying on you. 
and hopefully you can make a difference. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please support the channel and take care. Bye-bye.